Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and uh, if you've been following me over the last week, we're really dissecting this book, The Obesity Code, and in my resetter group, there are so many light bulbs going off for people on why they've struggled to lose weight. So today I really wanna to talk to you about insulin resistance because there are many different types of insulin resistance and most people don't even realize it. Um, we're gonna to start today on an organ level, meaning we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what organs get really affected by insulin resistance. And then stay tuned because we're gonna talk um, about cellular insulin resistance in future Facebook Lives, okay? So let's start with the different types of insulin resistance. So there are three types. There is insulin resistance in your muscles, there is insulin resistance in your liver, and there is insulin resistance in your brain. So let's start with the one in the brain. So this is, this is uh, Alzheimer's, this is dementia. So these are people that have been, been uh, eating a high sugar diet forever, and even if they're thin and they're not gaining it in their body, these people are the ones that start to have dementia and Alzheimer's as they get older. Um, if you haven't heard, Alzheimer's is called diabetes of the, of the brain. So for this one, there are several things you can do. So I put on here seven different strategies for pulling you out of these insulin resistances. And it's not as simple as just getting off of sugar. It's not as simple as just lowering carbs. There has to be, for many of you, if insulin resistance has been going on for a long time, there has to be multiple strategies that get applied. So for the brain, the first thing you've got to do is start to decrease the sugar. So this is why I'm a fan of ketogenic living. Lower the carbs, lower the sugar, and it's really going to have a profound effect on what happens to your brain. You talk to anybody who's gone keto and they will tell you that the mental clarity they get is insane. So that would be the first one for that. The other thing is you gotta look at, at neurotoxins. So you can actually get insulin resistance in your brain if you've got mold in your home. If you're packed with heavy metals, this is why in my clinic we detox these things out of people's brains because they get in the brain and they start to block receptor sites for insulin in the brain and they start to make the brain more insulin resistant. So that would be what we look at with the brain. Now, the other one we look at is in the muscle. So people who um, are insulin resistant in the muscle, this also happens as time goes on. And these are the people that are like, as I'm aging, my muscles are actually shrinking. I'm actually doing the same type of exercise, but I'm actually getting my muscles are shrinking. So these kind of people, what we wanna do is that we want you to do high intensity workouts, like HIIT training, Tabata's training, all those kind of workouts are really important um, for getting you out of insulin resistance in the, in the muscle. And then the last one, and the one I think is probably the most important for people to realize, is this insulin resistance in the liver. These are the people that are struggling to lose weight. They go keto, they start fasting, and they're like, God, you know what, I'm not losing any weight. I did everything you told me to do, and I'm not losing weight. Well, that's because we've got to look at healing the liver. The liver will actually store glucose, and it stores it in there, and when you start to go keto, when you start to go fast, all of a sudden your liver starts dumping that glucose. It has plenty in there that it can start making to keep the blood sugar higher. So we want to look at how do we get your liver healing again, and with these people, not only is ketogenic living important, but fasting is really important. You gotta start fasting, doing liver cleanses. Uh, there's a lot of different liver cleanses. Believe it or not, things like coffee enemas are some of the best and fastest way to clean your liver out. Uh, we do things in our office called PC pushes and we have liver supplements that we use with people that are really liver resistant or, or have built up that insulin resistance in the liver. But it, it, the, I think what happens is that it gets really frustrating for many of you that start the keto world, many of you that start frat fasting, and you're understanding the principles that Dr. Fung pointed out in here, but what you don't realize is that there has to be other components that we've got to pull together so that we can get your body completely out of insulin resistance. Keto living, great first start. Fasting, great first start. Then you gotta start looking at the HIIT training. Then you gotta look at heavy metal detoxing and how do we pull these toxins out. You gotta get out of mold in your home. It's a, it's a multi-therapeutic approach to pull yourself out of insulin. Some of you are gonna get there right off the bat with doing a few of these things. And some of you, please don't give up. 
because there are so many other things that you can apply. So that's insulin resistance. I hope that helps. If you've had good luck with any of these strategies that I laid out, please put it in the comment section. We'd love to hear about it. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you want to study this book with us, just put Resetters and I'll invite you into my Resetter group. We've got 18, about 1,800 people in there that are all studying this, studying this book right now. It's a ton of fun. So hope that helps.